Did the Trinity start in 325 AD by Constantine? Did Jesus become God in the 4th century and the Church was forced to believe it? It is often asserted by non-Trinitarian churches and groups, even Muslims, that the Trinity began in 325 AD with Emperor Constantine and the, Ni the Council of Nicaea. If this is true, we would never expect writings from early church fathers long before 325 AD who described Jesus as God and used language and descriptions that only Trinitarians would use. If you believe the Trinity was invented in 325 AD, you have been deceived. For Ignatius of Antioch, the disciple of John himself, writing more than 200 years before the Nicene Creed, wrote this about Jesus. There is one physician who possessed both of flesh and spirit, both made and not made, God existing in flesh, true life and death, both of Mary and of God, first passable and then impassable, even Jesus Christ our Lord. So here he clearly describes Jesus as God existing in flesh, both made and not made, meaning his humanity was made and yet his divine nature was eternal. He also wrote here, the deacons who are entrusted the ministry of Jesus Christ, who was with the Father before the beginning of time, and in the end was revealed. This is clearly not modalism, but Trinitarianism. The Son was with the Father before the beginning of time. And here, for our God, Jesus Christ, was, according to the appointment of God, conceived in the womb of Mary, uh, in the womb by Mary, of the seed of David, but by the Holy Ghost. Jesus is called our God by Ignatius. He also said, Polycarp 3, Look for him who is above all time, eternal and invisible, yet be, who became visible for our sakes, impalpable and impassable, yet who became passable on our account, and who in every kind of way suffered for our sake. So clearly he had a very high view of Christ. He regarded Christ as deity. And here, he also wrote about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Feel free to read these quotes. Remember, this was a disciple of John, and a respected leader of the church in his time, and written during the very first generation of disciples after the apostles died. He wrote naturally about the deity of Christ like it was already accepted accepted doctrine of the church. No one challenged him, or accursed him, or accused him of being false. One of the previous quotes was Polycarp III. Polycarp was the beloved brother in Christ of Ignatius. A disciple of Polycarp was named Irenaeus. He was born in 330 AD, died in 202 AD. He was an early church apologist, author, and church leader. He wrote more than a hundred years before the Nicene Creed. For example, here in Book 2 of his work called Against Heresies, he wrote, But the Son, eternally coexisting with the Father, from of old, yea, from the beginning, he believed in the Eternal Son. And in Book 4, he regarded the Father speaking to the Son and the Holy Spirit in Genesis 1.26, Let us make man after our image. This is extremely Trinitarian. In fact, Irenaeus was, as I would call it, a mega-Trinitarian. Eternal Son, three divine persons, one God. And he was an apologist, writing against heresies of his day. Clearly, Trinitarianism must therefore have been the norm in those days. The Nicene Creed was just one of the good fruit brought through by men like Irenaeus. Justin Martyr, Lactantius, Tertullian, and Eth Athenagoras were also clear Trinitarians before Constantine came along. Justin Martyr even condemned modalism in his first Apology, chapter 63. You can Google these for further study. This was just a short video refuting the lie. The Trinity was always the orthodox doctrine of the Christian faith way before 325 AD. Christians were already suffering and dying for the deity of Christ long before the Nicene Creed was formulated. If the disciple of John, Ignatius, was a Trinitarian, so should you.